16-year-old Brianna Lamb has three hours driving experience under her belt. Interesting learning in a manual car for the first time. And under a $24 million labour pitch to families, she and 60,000 other L platers would be put through compulsory defensive driver training. This has to happen. It's common sense. It's going to save lives. The idea's been a hit with instructors. We really need to get the skills across to all of them. And this proposal sounds like it's designed to do that. But with training facilities yet to sign up, the Premier's not convinced. A politically motivated populist thought bubble. I had hoped this could be a bipartisan commitment in the interest of saving lives. The opposition's handouts for young drivers don't stop there. For those who make it through their L plates and then their P plates without any traffic offences would be awarded a free licence under a $7 million labour promise. Meanwhile, the Premier hit the road to sell his $3.9 billion train and tram pledge to workers at Dandenong manufacturer Bombardier. Yeah, that's what they make here. They make Thomas the Tank engines. But they'd like more. The company's chief made an early pitch for the yet-to-be-tendered 75 new train carriages promised by a re-elected Napthine government. But I know the team here. I know how capable we are. Bombardier has delivered seven of the coalition's promised 40 new trains since 2010. Eight are still in construction. As for the remainder... And we've ordered another 25 as part of the Pakenham Cranbourne rail upgrade. Although he couldn't say who'd won that contract. Dennis Snapthine's very confused on what he's ordering, what he's already ordered. David Woywood, 10 Eyewitness News.